wish to close my TV screen And the old brown your heart comes into view I saw the pain, I turned my back Why can't I do the things I want to? I am willing yet I'm so afraid You give me strength when I say I wanna be your hands Jenny is um, an eight-year-old girl that I met at um, in Honduras at the orphanage, and she has a form of polio, so she's stuck in a wheelchair. And but she actually <clears throat> she speaks a lot of Spanish or a lot of English, and so her and I were able to communicate quite a bit. And um, she just she always had a huge smile on her face. She had an awesome attitude. She always wanted to mess with you, and um, she wanted to go wherever I went. The whole thing was memorable for me because I'd never been out of country, and uh, but I think mostly the little the little kids, especially in town, even though we only saw them in the evenings when we did the vacation Bible school, they just they just even though you couldn't speak to them because I don't speak Spanish, they didn't understand a thing I was saying. All they wanted to do was hug you and love you. I, all we ate was beans, rice, and tortillas. We had good guacamole though; that was really good. My new friends. The kids down there. Working at the orphanage was all the kids there. That was the best part for me to just see them and have them come up to you and really whenever you see them they just made your day more than you made theirs. So the lives of those kids there. Definitely the kids. I loved working with them and uh, their smiles and they were just so happy to see us all the time and I loved that. It was amazing, like the kids were just so loving and so caring and like you just wanted to keep them and bring them with you. Like just running up to you like as soon as you got there and just giving you like huge hugs and just laughing so much and they're so happy even though they don't have like hardly anything. Go I learned that like no matter where you are like with whatever you have you should be happy with it because we don't actually need a lot of the things that we think we need. They're so happy and it doesn't matter like I don't know we're out in in America we're all so oh I want this to be happy or oh I want that to be happy but those kids down there they have food and friends and Jesus and they're as happy as they could be. I realized that um, there's a lot of times when you think you're, you're confident in something and you are like, yeah, like gung-ho, but like you're not, you know? And so like I realized like no matter where I go, like I still have to lean on God no matter what because he's the one who gives me the strength to do anything. To be thankful for what I have and because they have nothing, yet they're still so happy. And then I complain, even though I have so much. So I really learned to be grateful for everything that I have here in America. The fact that I take a lot of things for granted, like, you've probably heard that a lot, but it's like, it really hits you harder than you expect it, it would be. So, yeah. Well, it's made me realize what here in America, the things that we have and take for granted and how much more we should actually probably go and help out in other places. Not to take things for granted. Uh, there's a lot of things that those kids don't have and they're just totally cool with it. It always just opens my eyes to what I have and what I take advantage of and how simple your life can be and yet you can still be so happy. Just seeing the way they live, like, like people in America, they have so much stuff and yet they're not happy. And these kids, like, they're dirty, they're grimy, they hardly get much food, but yet they're, they're so happy and they enjoy life so much. The blessings that we have here, I mean, we have so much and we have, like, there's so many things always going on for us and yet they're so happy with the simplest things and to really appreciate the simple things that we have in life. I've abandoned every selfish thought I've surrendered everything I've got You can have everything I am Empathy
perfect, everything I'm not I am willing, I'm not afraid You give me strength when I... It was amazing, it blessed me incredibly and I think everyone should go to Honduras at least once and visit those kids. The only thing I can use to describe it is life-changing. Honduras is amazing. <laughs> like, I love it and I can't wait to go back. I think you should go. It's a cool experience. Don't get the experience, just help someone else so they can go. I think it's a great opportunity for others to go and help and just embrace the experience in different culture. And, like, it, you expect it like you expect yourself to go and change people, but in the end, like it ultimately ends up changing you more than I think you end up changing other people. Give me strength when I say, when I say, be your hands, be your feet. I'm going to send it, be your hands, be your feet. I'm going to send it. Go away, send me.